Hey Sky, back to Interior Note Chino. In the last video, we talked about how to install Techlar 2020 for free, and from now on, we will use Techlar 2020 for practicing. Now it's time to get started. At the topic today, we gotta show you how to get familiar with Techlar user interface. For Techlar user interface, we have 13 points need to look at. The number one is the model. Here, when you create a new model, the Techlar appears at the empty model with a default grid here. When you click on the background, the, the model will be highlighted by the yellow color here, you can see. And the second one is the global coordination system here is represented by a green cube here. It's located at the origin point. And the number three is the work area represented by the box around the grid here. Work areas will represent the elements of your model. When one element is outside this area, that element will not be appear. For example, I create a column here and then I copy this column outside of the box work area and do not expand and when I redraw view and the second one is the third one will not be appeared because the two beam are outside of the work area. If you want to appear all elements in your model, you right click on the model and fit work area to entire model. And now you will see all the elements in your model here. And next in number four is the local coordination system represented by the symbol in the bottom right corner here with the three axes x y and z and next in number five is the file menu here the file menu allow you to create a new model open the model set model import export and a lot of things like a setup here and next is the number six is the ribbon here the ribbon contain the command to build your model object. For example, steel element, concrete element, and it contain the tools to modify model object. View, provide to help you view your model. Drawing and report tab contain the work related to drawing. And manage provide you tool to manage your model object with a lot of parameters show the object information and another set in design is the low grip, load, etc. but for modeling and detailing we rarely use the common and the final one is Trimble Connect provide you the tool to collaborate with other user or other stakeholder on the cloud and stat the tabs in the ribbon and number seven a quick access toolbar here allow you to save undo redo and you can see the history of undo for example i back to create a column and the model will be back to the step that we have created column and next in number eight is quick lunch a quick lunch allow you to quickly find the common in the case you forgot where the common button is for example you forgot the column common and you tie here the column and then the tech line will show you a list of comment uh, related to the column for example you create steel column here 
you chain the profile here a, the steel column is created by Quitland. And next is number 9. The number 9 is side pane here. The side pane here provide you a field of tool when working with the model. For example, custom inquiry allow you to report information of object in your model. For example, when select an object in your model and a custom inquiry will quickly show the information of the object as the report here you can select uh, the template you want for example switch to the cast units here and a field of information related to cast unit will be appear and next is the tagline online the tagline online contain the resort to link to the Tekla user assistant or Tekla discussion forum and Tekla Cambot etc. or Tekla warehouse to download uh, a field of tool from the user around the world. And the next is uh, Point Cloud, allow you to attach the Point Cloud data in your model. And the icon here is the property of the object in your model when you click on any object and this tool will appear the parameters belong to the selected object and next is the reference model when you would like to coordinate with the architectural model you can add the architect model here by click on add the model and the final ones is the application and components contain uh, the default application and component from the Teclar uh, solution or you can put your custom component here and that is number 9 side pane and next you go to the number 10 in the bottom left corner here it's a work plan handler toolbar uh, to control which work plan you are using in your model uh, when we work with uh, how to build the model object with Teclar, I will show you more detail about it. And next in number 11 is selection switches control which object you can select in your model. For example, uh, the select object is turn up. Uh, it turn on so we can select the object in the model in the case we turn off the select grid in model and now we cannot select the grid in your model that's the way how we can work with selection switches and go to the number 12 is the snap switches to control which point you can snap when building the model object for example, I have a beam here and when I turn when I turn on snap to the midpoint so we can create a perpendicular beam by midpoint for example here but uh, when I turn off the midpoint snap here so now we cannot snap to the midpoint anymore for example now i create a beam and a midpoint of this beam is not appeared so if you would like to snap to the midpoint for example you need to turn off this midpoint and now the midpoint have already been appeared here and now you snap to the midpoint and create a uh, beam you want and that's the way how we can work with snap switches and the final one is number 13 is status toolbar in the bottom window here uh, status toolbar will help you in how to proceed and when you can pick a point 
for example now I create a beam and state the toolbar uh, instruct you that you need to pick a first position and then you pick the first position and back to state the toolbar saying that now we need to pick a second point to create a beam so let's try to click on the second point and now the beam is created by uh, following the instruction of status toolbar and another thing sh is showed by status toolbar is um, uh, the phase you are using or the how many objects is being selected for example I select um, two objects here and the status toolbar is saying that two objects is selected and um, the additional thing is the search in the model here. It, this tool allows you to quickly search the element in your model by the parameters of the object. For example, I would like to find out the column in the model. I type the column here and then click on search and now all the columns in your model will be selected or you can select by the parameter of the object for example I would like to select the element in the model by profile 900 by 900 for example I will shirt with this parameter and then I select in the model and now to only this column I uh, have the parameter match with the width I typed here so only this column is selected and that's an overview about using to in Teclar if you have any question feel free to leave your question in the comment section below hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching and see you next time